Highlight reel finishes seem to be the thing with my next guest. He's coming off another one this past weekend at UFC Vegas 12, getting that win over Victor Rodriguez. This is Adrian Yanez back here on the program. Adrian, how's it going, man? Man, it's going pretty good yourself, man. It's going well, but I did not come off a highlight reel finish in my UFC debut. Congratulations, man. Another outstanding performance. You picked right up from Contender Series, basically. Uh, how did, you know, now that we're a couple days removed, you got the win. How are you feeling that now you've got that first UFC win in, 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 under, uh, under your belt, so to speak? Man, it, it, I, I'm still on cloud nine, but also I got like a fire lit up, lit, lit up under me that i I just want to keep continuing and doing the same thing. I want to, I want to create more highlights, man. I want like, whenever I'm done with my UFC career, I just want to see nothing but highlights of me knocking people out. <laughs> so it just lit a fire under me, man. I'm ready to go again, man. I'm super ready. Well, I, th- I think you put a lot of people on notice uh, in, the, in the bantamweight division with that finish. Um, you know, it was another highlight reel performance. Again, I mentioned you had the same thing on the Contender Series. Uh, could that fight have gone any better? You don't get paid by the hour. Yeah, man, uh, that's exactly what I told somebody at when I was leaving the cage. It's like, yeah, I don't get paid by the hour, man. It's like, it's like, I don't get paid overtime. It's like, so I want to get in, get out as fast as I can. Uh, but man, it, it, it was it was a good experience, man. I I saw all the shots, I saw everything. I felt really comfortable, really at home. So, uh, I like as soon as the bell rang and he shot in for that takedown and I stuffed it. I was like, oh, it's just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. Do you feel like in some ways, and we talked about this on Contender Series, and I actually think we talked about this leading into this fight, but the level of competition, I mean, I, I know people probably get annoyed with me talking about this, but I think it's really true. Like, you look like a step up from him from the opening bell. How much do you think that played into it? Because, you know, he fought a lot of fighters that might have had good records, but you got to look at who they're fighting. It's not it's not the type of competition you fought, like a Miles Johns. Oh, yeah. No, I, I'm, I've i come, I, I've said it plenty of times myself. It's like, it's like, I've already fought people who are in the UFC as of right now. I was like, I've already fought the highest level of competition outside the region, like outside in the regional circuit. I was like, so now that I'm in here and I'm getting matched up with these guys, uh, you know, and you look at the resumes, you compare them mine, it's like a lot of these people, like a lot of these, like who should even the Vegas odd makers are looking at it. They're just like, like I think uh, I was the, the second favorite on the card that night. So, I was looking at that. I was like, "Well, even they're starting to know." So uh, they they see the level of competition that I've had, and like I've come really close, split decision, split decision and losses. You know, to really high level people. Dude, look at Miles John. He he just knocked out uh, that dude, uh, Kevin, Kevin, yeah. uh, Kevin Natividad, or is that his brother? Uh, no, no, no. One, no, he, one, no, he knocked him uh, out. Yeah, no, Miles' brother's still on the regional scene, but yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so he just he just knocked he just knocked him out. So. It was, it's like, of course, I'm doing something right. If I'm going to a split decision loss, we just got another 50K bonus like the same night I did. So it's like, okay, uh, it's one of those, uh, it's one of those, man, I'm, I'm already tested. These these guys that are coming in that, that they're feeding me, you look at the records, you know, uh, Brady, you know, uh, shaky record, shaky record, try to take a step up with competition uh, against someone who's already been tested. You know, you see who, you see who wins. And then Victor Rodriguez, you know, you take a look at him, uh, like his the last guy he fought was the toughest guy he fought, and he yeah unfortunately they both had to face me, uh, who's already been tested and you know a a good prospect. Yeah, it's funny actually. If you look at the last win that he got, uh, which was an eight and one guy, and I don't mean to pick on the guy, I'm just sort of pointing out how why records are important. The guy he fought was eight and one, but you look at who that guy fought in Alaska FC, all losing records, right? So it's like you look at eight and one, think, wow, that's a that's a good win, but really it's not because the guy the guy he fought was fighting Can. So it's sort of this you know effect that sort of continues on. But that's why LFA is very good about that when it comes to matchmaking. And I know definitely made you a seasoned guy uh, prior to even getting this shot. So uh, kudos to LFA for that. Uh, how do you celebrate after a big win like that? I know it's COVID. I know stuff shut down, but it must have been so cool to you know pop a few drinks and enjoy your night. Oh yeah, man. We went over to my manager's house. Uh, manager's house. Uh, oh, the big party. Already... Yeah, I think you guys all won, right? Uh, it was it Hernandez, Jacoby, yourself, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. We went out there. We won, man. Uh, I walk in and I just see Alexander Hernandez in the suit, man. I was, I was looking. I was like, oh, that's pretty nice. He's, he's, he's pretty. Uh, he's, he's up and spiffied out, and I'm just looking at myself. I'm like, man, I just came in a t-shirt and jeans, man. I, I feel completely underdressed, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, I walked in. He's all. He's all nice and the whole tux and his suit. And I'm just like, man, man, like next time I'm probably going to just step up and do something better, man. Because, yeah, I'm, I was I'm standing right next to him for the picture. I just remember being like, man, it's like he just outshined me so much right now. I was like, he deserved the 50 Gs just yeah. on the way he looked. So, yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, I went out. 
uh, I actually stayed in Vegas an extra day because the, these last couple times uh, I went, I was just the next day, 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm out. 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm out. I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to stay. I just flew back in yesterday. Uh, it was it was pretty cool. You know, we walked around, walked on the whole strip and everything and found that uh, her, found a Hershey store. And I ended up giving myself, like, those extra long Twizzlers. Oh, yeah, going out there and just, like, I'm a, I'm a sucker for sweets. So, man, I, I, I went I went deep and bought that big pack of, like, I think like they're, like, about 17, 18 inches, like, just Twizzlers and everything. So, yeah, that's, that's the way I'm celebrating my win, my eating. We well, certainly got some extra money. You got that performance of the night bonus. Uh, I know, you know, some candies probably in order, like you mentioned, probably get a new suit with the Hernandez story there. What else are you going to be, <laughs> be putting the money into? You got some unpaid bills or what, what are you planning to do with the money? Yeah, my, my probably just pay, pay off my car. You know, I don't owe much on it. So I'm just going to do that. And then after that, just uh, be smart with it, man. Put it, probably put it, put it away, do some investments here and there, uh, small little things. Uh, so uh, just so, Man, I, I can make that money. I can make that money work for me, man. Uh, you know, I want, I want another one. I want to be in. I want. I don't want to become one of those stories that you know, just like after fighting, or I have to keep on fighting because of the money and everything. No, it's like I'm not going to be that guy. I'm just going to go ahead, put it away, be smart with it, and you know, just hopefully one day my money's working for me. No, very smart idea there. Uh, what was the feedback like from this fight? Because you know, it's one thing to get a highlight reel finish on Contender Series, and I'm sure you got a nice shine after that. But to get it in the UFC on a big card like this, Anderson Silva's potentially last fight. What was it like? I'm sure the follower count went up. I'm sure you got a lot of messages too. Oh man, yeah, I have, I've had I've had uh, a good amount of feedback, a really really good amount of feedback, man. Uh, it's like uh, my follower counts went up, and everybody started noticing me. And then I started getting like a. Uh, what was really cool was like watching the like after going back and just start seeing like the tweets on the screen. And you start seeing all those tweets of like all those other fighters, uh, uh, fighters starting to uh, tweet about you. And you just start looking it's like, oh man, this is actually this is actually really pretty cool. It was, like it brought another cool sense to me, you know. Uh, like Brandon Roval, another guy who's like Giannis. Giannis I saw that Giannis, Brandon Roval giving you some props. That was cool. Yeah, yeah, that was really cool, man. I was like, I, the guy's genuinely a good dude. And then I had Bilal Muhammad saying like, man. That guy really does move like Masvidal. <laughs> so, uh, and then I had like just recent, just like uh, I think it was like the other day, uh, someone reposted something about me uh, uh, doing the prediction for Peter Yan and uh, Aljamain Sterling. I was like, I think Aljamain Sterling's gonna win. Aljamain Sterling retweeted that, saying like, "Dude, Yan is himself looking like a veteran, in, looking like a veteran in the in the in the cage." I was like, "Oh, that's pretty badass." It's like, man, I look up to these guys, so I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, certainly I worked out. By the way, I don't know if you saw, actually, I think you did. So when I posted our interview, I always put it in like a big playlist. So that way, because I work for a bunch of different outlets, so it's easier to follow. But someone from Rodriguez's camp said something about you were like being overconfident or something. Do you remember seeing this? Because I think you replied to them on Twitter. Um, and it's just so funny now. Yeah. Obviously, everything went according to plan for you, right? That guy, I'm sure, went into hiding after that comment. Man, I look at this stuff, man. I love it, man. I was just like, hey, man. Like, I'm definitely not overlooking him, but you know, I think he was selling his, he was selling yeah, shirts some for t-shirt or something. I think that's more what the yeah, guy was trying to do, just get your attention to buy his t-shirt. It was crazy. So Yeah, okay. Like, hey, like, hey, keep pushing your boy's shirt, man. That's cool, man. It's cool that you're doing that. Uh no like hey man, it's all it's all fun and games, man. Like, well to me, like it's a it's, it's 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 all business all up until uh all up until you know you start talking trash. But he didn't talk trash. Mm-hmm. He didn't talk trash, which I was like, hey, look, hey, I see you doing anything. He didn't call me uh, anything, but he was like, hey, like, buy a shirt. And I'm like, no, he's not. He's the guy I'm going to fight right now. Maybe after the fight, but not right now. Yeah. Uh, no, I agree with that. Um, so when are you looking to get back in there? Is this a fresh win? Probably 2021, or are you staying, you know, staying, not eating too much Hershey's in case they give you that short notice call? Oh, man. Yeah. Like, probably after this, man. Probably after this binging of all these sweets, man. I'll, Real, real hard, strict diet until uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, but uh, I, I would like to be back December nineteenth. But I know, like my November schedule with everything, like I have, like there's a lot of things going on in November just personally in my personal life that I'm I might not push for that December nineteenth. I might just go ahead and just wait till January, February. And then plus uh, we have a uh, we have. Uh, Texas is starting to reopen back up with uh, with MMA and everything, and we got a promotion down here, a uh, promotion down here that's gonna that's starting fights. That's about to be running back fights on December twelfth. We got a couple guys like we actually I think we have like about four or five guys that are gonna try to get on that card or are on that card right now. So 
we're going to try to, we're going to, I want to try to be there as much as possible because they were there for me whenever I needed them for this contenders fight and for this, uh, for my UFC debut. So I want to give them the time and the attention that they gave me. So I'm still going to be healthy just in case it's still healthy and in shape, just in case a, a really good short notice fight comes in. Uh, you know, if I'm in shape enough, you know, and if I, like none of this personal stuff has messed with my training camp, like the training for November, definitely want to do December 19th. But January 3rd, January, the end of January, beginning of February is really looking promising for me. Plus, I get an, an extra like amount of time to train and really get better. I, I kind of like that, you know, I came out the fight unscathed uh, with whenever I fought Brady and then I was going to then this fight around. It was, I think it's pretty cool that I had like back to back training camps, but they weren't, the fight wasn't to me, wasn't as close. What, what, what was, it was evenly spread out. So I was able to deal with some injuries and also stay, uh, I wasn't having to get in shape because I never got out of shape. And I was only able to work on and improve on my skills and like wasn't really like, uh, cardio based driven the last, three three rounds and everything it was more based on me getting my skill level up and it showed in this fight so i like that i like that a lot so i might keep that routine going which uh you piqued my interest you said texas promotion is xfo or fury fc which ones uh which one are you talking about because those are i think the two ones in texas right yeah fury fighting championship with uh, eric garcia garcia promotions nice yeah okay. they're uh december 12th, december 12th they're, they're opening back up and uh we got a couple guys fighting we got a couple amateurs uh, a couple of amateurs, I think one or two, mm-hmm. uh, depending. Uh, everything, like, I'm not sure on who all is fighting for sure on, on, on my team. So uh, I'm going to sit back and I'm going to go back uh, next, go back to the gym next Monday and just see how everything plans out and pans out. And uh, we'll just start getting getting those guys ready. Any opponents you want to fight next after this, or I uh, just leave that up to your management? Man, I, I usually leave it up to my management. Uh, man, uh, this this last fight, Victor Rodriguez. If I would if I would have found out his record before I said yes, uh, <laughs> you know, I probably would have been like, "Hey, give me somebody else." Uh, but uh, from what I heard, they want to try to run that. They want to try to get that Aaron Phillips fight back. So I, I'd be cool with that fight. It'd be a nice little scrappy fight. Uh, but honestly, I at this point, today, man, I'm just leaving it up to leaving it up to them what they want, what 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 they feel is best for me. Uh, I just, I'm just the guy that doesn't say no. Just put whoever you want in front of me. I'll say yes. I'm going to go out there and fight. And we're looking forward to it for the next one. But uh, what a great win this was, Adrian. Again, congratulations. Uh, just remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you have any sponsors or shout outs, the floor is yours. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, my my Instagram is adriangiannis93. Go ahead and give me a follow, man. Uh, I'm not the greatest poster, but I'll post. <laughs> uh, Twitter, I, I actually uh, answer people more, more back on Twitter at Yanez MMA. You can friend me on Facebook. I still have enough room uh, for friends on Facebook. Also, you can follow my Facebook page at Adrian Yanez MMA. They're all spaced out. Uh, yeah, and also a big shout-out to HK. Uh, HK Training Gear, they supplied me with all my training gear for, for, for both my camps, for the Contender Series, and... And my debut, my use debut, and also to the movement brand, you know, uh, great clothes, great clothing, you know, they, they got behind me and everything. So I'm really loving it. Uh, so right too. So right. That, that massage tool, who would have thought this weird looking tool would, would work so well. So man, thank you so much.